Welcome to the Jewellers Journal, Roberts & Co podcast where we unravel the world of gemstones, precious metals, jewellery design and craftsmanship. I'm your host Barry Roberts, inviting you to step into our world, one where every piece tells a story. Whether you're a jewellery aficionado, a passionate collector or simply curious about the sparkle behind our creations, we're glad to have you here. So let's delve into the fascinating stories and intricate details behind our stunning collections and learn about the extraordinary craft of jewellery making. So sit back, relax and let's start our journey into the mesmerising world of the jeweller here at Roberts & Co. And today we're we're unveiling the Durston Agile C70 rolling mill in an in-depth unboxing, setup, and review. In the realm of jewellery making, the rolling mill stands as a cornerstone tool for metalworking artists. Its role in shaping, texturing and transforming metal into intricate pieces cannot be understated. Among the esteemed lineup of these essential tools, the Durston Agile C70 rolling mill emerges as a subject of interest for both its compact design and robust functionality. Today we're going to delve into a comprehensive review of the Durston Agile C70 showcasing its key features, capabilities and how it measures up against other models in the field. So join us as we navigate through the nuances of this compact powerhouse providing insights that might help you decide whether it's right for you and the right addition for your crafting arsenal. The moment of unveiling a new tool is always filled with excitement and anticipation, especially when it's a piece as pivotal to jewellery making as a rolling mill. The Durston Agile C70 is no exception and its unboxing marks the beginning of a journey into its capabilities and performance. Upon first glance, the Agile C70 impresses with its sturdy build quality, compact size and sleek appearance. Every aspect of its construction speaks to Durston's commitment to quality, from the smooth finish to the precision engineered parts. As we delve deeper into this review, these initial observations will serve as a foundation for understanding how the Agile C70 fits into the art of metal crafting. Setting up the new rolling mill is more than just unpacking a tool, it's about creating a stable and safe environment for its operation. The installation of the Durston Agile C70 in our studio was approached with meticulous care to ensure it serves its purpose effectively. To begin, we prepared our workspace ensuring a clean flat surface on our office desk. The stability of the rolling mill is paramount not only for the precision of the work it will perform but also for safety during its operation. We selected high quality tools for this task including a reliable Milwaukee cordless drill and a 10mm flat spade drill bit to drill the holes needed to anchor the rolling mill securely. With precision we marked and drilled our holes corresponding to the base of the Agile C70. Each hole was made with care to accommodate the M8 nuts and bolts that would fasten the mill to the desk. The act of bolting down the rolling mill is critical ensuring it remains immovable during the use, providing a stable foundation for all forthcoming projects. The true measure of a rolling mill's worth lies in its ability to transform raw metals into workable forms. For the Durston Agile C70, this test came in the form of melting down gold and silver to create ingots. The process of melting involves careful temperature control and the use of reliable torches, ensuring a smooth, even melt that's poured into preheated moulds forming the basis of our tests. Once solidified, these ingots were introduced to the Agile C70 rollers. The experience of rolling out wire and sheet metal was a testament to the mill's capabilities. The ease of manual operation, despite the absence of reduction gearing, was notable. Each pass through the mill transformed the metal, reducing its thickness while maintaining a uniform quality that's essential for high-end jewellery making. The quality of the output from the evenness of the sheet metal to the consistency of the wire spoke volumes about the Agile C70's performance. It handled both gold and silver with precision, showcasing its versatility and reaffirming its place within a professional jeweler's toolkit. In our studio, the Durston Agile C70 joins a diverse lineup of rolling mills, each with its own set of capabilities and history. So let's dive into a comparative analysis, pitting the Agile C70 against both other Durston models and the vintage mills that have been staples of our crafting process. The Agile C70's compact design and direct drive system present a stark contrast to the larger full-size Durston models equipped with reduction gearing. This difference is pivotal when tackling tasks that require significant force, such as reducing ingots. The larger models handle these with ease, while the C70, despite its robust build, demands more manual effort due to the absence of gearing. 
When compared to vintage mills, the C70 stands out for its modern engineering and precision. Vintage mills carry the charm of history but often come with idiosyncrasies that can challenge consistent results. The C70 on the other hand offers reliability and uniformity in every pass, whether you're creating wire or sheet metal. For specific tasks like creating detailed metal forms or intricate textures, the C70's precision stands in good stead. However, for those looking to process larger ingots or require extensive reduction, the larger Durston models or even a well-maintained vintage mill might be more suitable. Every tool has its strengths and weaknesses and the Durston Agile C70 rolling mill is no exception. Through our extensive testing, we've identified a few key limitations that prospective buyers should be aware of. One of the primary challenges we faced was related to the size of the ingots that the C70 could accommodate. While Durston is known for its robust and versatile mills, the Agile C70's compact design means it's not ideally suited for processing larger ingots. This could pose a limitation for those looking to work with more substantial pieces of metal, requiring additional steps to resize ingots before they can be effectively rolled. Additionally, our testing brought to light concerns regarding the use of plastic components in the C70's construction. While Durston's older models boasted all metal construction that contributed to their durability and reliability, the inclusion of plastic in certain parts on the Agile C70 and other mills raised questions about the long-term resilience and functionality under heavy use. Despite these challenges, the Agile C70 remains a valuable addition to any jewellery maker's toolkit, particularly for those with space constraints or those who primarily work with smaller pieces. It's essential, however, to weigh these considerations carefully to ensure it meets your specific needs and expectations. After thorough testing and comparison, our journey with the Durston Agile C70 rolling mills provided us with a clear perspective on its place within the jewellery making toolkit. The C70 shines in its compact design, ease of use for smaller projects and the quality of its output making it an excellent choice for jewellers with limited space or those focusing on smaller scale projects. However, with its limitations in handling larger ingots and the concerns raised by the introduction of plastic components suggest that it might not be the go-to choice for every jeweller. For those frequently working with larger pieces or requiring heavy duty usage, the larger Durston models or even a well-maintained vintage mill might be more appropriate. In conclusion, the Durston Agile C70 offers great value for its price point, particularly for beginners, those with space constraints or professionals needing a reliable secondary mill. Its construction quality upholds the Durston reputation. It's a testament to the brand's commitment to providing functional durable tools for jewellers at all levels. The journey through the world of jewellery making is one of creativity, precision and the right set of tools. The Durston Agile C70 rolling mill with its compact design and reliable performance represents a significant consideration for artists at various stages of their craft. As we conclude our review, we reflect on the crucial role that tools like the Agile C70 play in the creative process. They are not just instruments, but partners in the transformation of raw materials into pieces that speak volumes of the maker's skill and vision. So we encourage you to carefully consider how the Agile C70 fits into your studio setup and creative workflow. Whether you're just beginning your journey into jewelry making or looking for a reliable addition to your tool set, the Agile C70 offers a blend of quality and convenience that Durston is known for. Ultimately, the choice of tools is deeply personal and influenced by your specific needs, aspirations and the scale of your projects. We hope this review provides you with the insights needed to make an informed decision, ensuring your toolkit is as versatile and capable as your imagination. And that wraps up another episode of the Robertson Co. Jewelry Journal. So it's been an absolute pleasure guiding you through the sparkling narrative of our precious pieces. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any future episodes where we continue to delve deeper into the enchanting world of jewellery. If you wish to explore our collections or learn more about us, please visit our official Robertson Co. website. And remember, every piece of jewellery tells a story and we can't wait to be a part of yours. So until next time, keep shining. We hope to see you again soon.